first stage of the experiment where I'm working with freshly shorn, a year ago shorn, not processed at all wool. Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on a dirty fleece spinning video. Anyway, today I am spinning uh, a raw fleece or part of a raw fleece. It is from last year's shearing, so it is not fresh. And that does make a difference. We'll talk about that in a bit. But this is George. He is a ram. He has 75% Texel and 25% Gulf Coast native. And he came from one of my favorite farms, which is Hope Springs Farm in Madison County, Georgia. So as you can see here, there's tons of vegetable matter. Well, not tons. It's actually pretty clean sheep here, but there's some, yeah, anyway, it's smelly, it's dirty. And I'm spinning it as is. All right, so here we are. I've got some spun already, and I'm just going to grab a chunk of wool. Well, that didn't work. The basket's supposed to balance on top of the fan here. All right. So, dirty. I'm going to take it to the side and shake it. Maybe I should stop and go get my apron. All right. Frilly apron it is. Dirty fleece it is. Shake the good dirt out of that. This is a really bad spot um, for vegetable matter and whatnot, but it'll spin. So what I discovered from watching YouTube videos is that people who spin in the grease don't always care about the amount of vegetable matter is in their fleece. The truth is that most of it comes out during spinning and plying and at some point you know whatever's left in there will eventually wiggle its way out throughout use. I can see where my hook's at here. Slightly. Almost time to change hooks. I like a very even bobbin. It's one of my little things. I take great pride in a very nice, smooth looking bobbin. Without a woolly winder, it's kind of hard to do. But anyway, even though it's got some old lanolin in it, which makes the fleece a little bit crunchy, it's still spinning very nicely. I know Gulf Coast Native is fairly low on the lanolin, and I'm guessing that Texel is as well, although I have not looked that up. Um, It's feeling very soft in my hands. And the majority of the dirt will wash out after it's been plied. And I do the scour. Now if you don't like a big mess, then you should definitely clean your fleece before you start spinning it. But if you don't mind the mess, it's actually easier to clean a skein of yarn than it is to clean a bunch of wool. For one thing, you can pop it in a pot on your stove and keep the water good and hot. If you're like me, you have to boil water to wash your wool, carry pots of very hot water to the bathroom to fill up the bucket or outside, wherever the bucket is. Then Scouring a finished skein is a million times easier. One of the 
bit of wool doesn't want to do what I want it to, I uh, find another section of wool to work with. And it will grab the new fleece just fine most, most of the time. I'll leave this the other side of me here in a minute. you can get a better idea of what my hands are doing. But um, it's incredibly easy to spin this way if you don't mind the mess. And you've got to wear something to protect your clothes. Although the last fleece I spun like this was extremely high in lanolin compared to this one. And I got grease all over my clothes. So if you're worried about that, definitely wear an apron or put a blanket over your lap or something. Oh yeah, if you don't want to get all over you, you need to cover yourself up with an apron or something or just wear old clothes if you don't mind getting all greasy. Now I could wait be wearing the bib of this apron, but I didn't think that there's enough lanolin for it to ruin my new my nice shirt, so I just laid the apron across my lap, which is how I prefer to wear it anyways. Well, yeah, nothing to it, just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. When you get to a real nasty spot, sometimes just running your fingers over it will get the vegetable matter out. Sometimes it doesn't, and then you have to Either leave it in there or I'm anchoring it over my finger and kind of digging out a clump of vegetable matter. You can also flick it with the finger as you're spinning and sometimes the vegetable matter will just jump out. I'm not doing much with the fiber, you know. It's just straight off the sheet. It was in a bag. Open, but in a bag. In the farmer's garage barn or whatever it is they call that thing where they store all the fleeces till they decide what to do with them and uh, you know I've heard you want to work with like a coated fleece or really high quality low lanolin low vegetable matter low dirt but uh, honestly I think it's more personal preference than anything else. My first couple of hours of spinning like this were crazy lumpy bumpy. I had a really hard time learning how to draft the fibers like this. There didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. But really, once you get going, it drafts itself. It really is very nice fiber. I want to try just a hot rinse to get the dirt out, but not the lanolin, really. I want to try a cold rinse only, or two or three. Compare that with fully scoured without any prep. All of this without prep. So we'll see what happens. This is the first stage of the experiment. Where I'm working with freshly shorn, a year ago shorn, not processed at all wool.